Hey guys, how's it going? Ben with Hog here. Um, the video you're about to see after this sort of introduction here, um, you're gonna see me make a lot of mistakes. And after reviewing the footage, I realized them, and I apologize for that. The gameplay is gonna get a lot better from here on out. But I'm sort of new to the whole recording thing, so I was kind of nervous recording, and I made a lot of mistakes here. All right, so right now would be the part where I wrote my intro, but I actually realized the intro I had. It's kind of terrible, so I'm just gonna go straight into the gameplay footage here. All right, guys, how's it going? Bandwidth Hog here, coming at you with a video. Today we're gonna be playing some Europa Universe Alice 4, and as you can see by where my mouse is covered, I'm gonna be playing as Austria. Austria is a pretty interesting nation here, in that their main way of winning the game, or their main way of sort of accruing power, is through marriage. It's a really weird graphic there. It's kind of weird. Mm, I might need to change my map texture pack. I like this because it's kind of like low maintenance. But anyway, um, we're going to call this the Habsburg Chin. Chin. Okay, there we go. And we're going to start an Iron Man game. Alright, so as I was saying before, the main way that Austria sort of gets their power is through their diplomatic relations. Alright, so first off what we want to do here is we want to set our rivals. So first off we want to War Mary here. Alright, we're gonna improve relations here. We're going to Alright, so we don't want that. Actually, we want to look at the Holy Roman Empire here. And Megan, you're not an elector. Baden's not an elector. Alright, so first off, we want to sort of secure our ability to maintain the emperorship. Alright, so over on Empire, we're gonna take a couple of electors, we're gonna ally them. So as you can see now we're not we're not gonna maintain the Emperorship as is. Alright, so we wanna take a couple of electors, just ally them real quick. Maybe get some royal marriages going. Alright, so here I've married Hungary, Bohemia. Still, and we're gonna try to get a royal marriage with Burgundy, but no alliances. All right, we're gonna ally the electors. All right, so how many relationships else do we have? All right, so we're going to rob the Ottomans, England, France. Just count a rival. That's pretty, pretty standard gameplay here. All right, next we're going to we got relations improving here. All right, we're gonna start improving with the electors one by one. So Bohemia. It's a no-go. We're going to try to force them into the fold here. Brandenburg's good. Cologne's good. We're going to work on Mainz next. Alright, so our plan here. So Bohemia and Poland are both in interregnums. So we're going to try to get Bohemia to get a Habsburg on the throne, and then we're going to claim throne and declare war, and maybe do the same thing with Poland. All right, we get an event with Hungary, or we might just get a Habsburg on the throne, honestly. We get an event with Hungary that may allow us to get a personal union, or they may choose a Habsburg on the throne, in which case we would automatically have a personal union with them, I believe. Next, we're gonna see what our army composition is, so we got Two cab in each, which is pretty good, pretty standard. So next up, we're just gonna use some manpower, start working on building up the force limit. Now right, we got the Shadow Kingdom. So here we're going to see about getting Bohemia into the fold. 
Also, we have a gold mine here. So getting this up to about eight development, it's gonna be pretty good. So I'm actually gonna put a point in now. I'm actually also gonna look at our estates. I should have done this beginning. Oh man, I'm doing so much wrong now that I'm on camera. So we're gonna get some advisors going. All right, so we want the tax guy. I've got a trade efficiency guy there. Do we have a morale of armies? Yeah, we do. All right, and then Looking a little light on money, so we're gonna lower army maintenance for now. We're gonna get a spy network guy just so we can get the extra diplo power. Alright, and we're gonna turn our general into a ruler into a general. We wanna spend the 50. Yeah, that's pretty trash actually. Bring me back to the estate tier, so grant these guys some monopoly charters. Well, we're gonna come back to that. Alright, we're going to seek their support. Minister, emissary to the Pope, Inquisitor. Support, I'm gonna call a diet here and support who our province is looking like. Our only actual, only actual, um, sort of, what's the word I'm looking for here? Center of trade. There we go. Center of trade. Our only center of trade is a capital, so we can't really give them that. So we're just gonna do this. Demand some diplomacy power, and we're immediately. So I'm curious development. Yes. Immediately, gonna put this in the Tyrol. Should have been making about two ducats in gold, 2.9 maybe. Now we're making 3.5 ducats in gold because of the development we're doing. Um, I hope this mine doesn't deplete. That'd be so sad. All right, we're making decent money now. I can actually, I think I already hired the advisor. Yeah, we did. All right, so we're just waiting now. Yeah, there we go. So, all right, they don't have big allies, so. We're just gonna claim the throne here. Bring back up the army maintenance. I'm gonna get a couple mercs into the army here. Take out a loan real quick. Or two. Two seems good. Alright, we're gonna get a couple mercenaries into the armies. Declare war here. Um, we're gonna call in Brandenburg, but we're not gonna give them any land. We just want their troops. <laughs> we really just want the distraction. And this is this is there's no siege pips here, which is kind of sad. start working on these guys here so Austria is pretty interesting being the Holy Roman Emperor right oh man I'm gonna lose the Emperor ship here all right we're gonna royal marry you all right approve relations here Pull back on that. They've already got a Jagellion on the throne. So we will actually Roy Mary 
work on the alliance later. Alright, we need to make sure we maintain this emperor ship for now. Alright, so these two are voting for us. We're going to maintain the emperor ship right now, but um, I just want to ensure that there's no way that we lose it here. Sadly, Brainbird is not quite doing what I what I wanted him to do. We're gonna upset Brandenburg a bit here with the way we're doing this, but I, I think we'll be fine. We'll, we'll just get someone else to vote for us in the elector game here. Alright, so next we're going to start improving relations with the Platinum. Actually, what I'm looking at here. So we're at 5 out of 5 relations, so... What's my innovative list looking like right now? I have 0, so we're just going to do that. Can't go negative. All right, so we're just gonna wait for these occupations to go through. All right, so that guy over there, we're gonna take this guy. Actually, can I go up here? No, be better to just, hmm. Got all the troops sort of amassed there. All right, well, we're just gonna take this back. Maybe they can get Maybe they will t knock Brandenburg out, in which case that'd be fantastic. But either way, they're they're very distracted right now. Oh, vassal. I don't remember inviting Onspock into this. Oh, then a person you know brain over. Oh man, that's crazy. Alright, Siege of Praha is over. Alright, so we're just gonna come through here. Do we gotta do? We're gonna come up here. Alright, and then we're gonna go take them on in Berlin. No, damn it. Yeah, we're gonna take them on in Berlin. So we wanna wait a bit. Get all the troops grouped up. Who we have running it? Alright, this gotta be fine. Alright, this should be cool. So we're gonna come down here. This is actually the best I've ever done with Austria. Now I'm looking at this. See what we can get going here. Plan is to. Oh, and I got a Von Habsburg as well. That's good. That's very good. We're just going to take these guys out. It's no point. Wally Gagan anymore. Alright, so they're down. A couple troops here. I really need three to seize this. Alright, so we're gonna leave the mercs behind. Oops. I'm gonna pull a couple of these guys off. That'll be fine. So we've run that siege now. How are we looking on the Emperor ship here? Alright, so they're choosing Bohemia, but I don't think that's gonna work out the way they want it to.
we'll take this guy and send him up here. Make sure we keep him together for now. Send him up here. Alright. Attach the mercs. And do something like that. Alright, we got Sue for peace here. Nope, not what I wanted to do at all. Alright, gotta take some money, war reps. Alright. Alright, so now we have. Alright, so. We want union and some money. doesn't like me that much right now, but that's fine. I'm gonna swing an alliance with Poland here. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. He actually kept that? Oh, that's fucking crazy. Ending here. Alright, so guys, there it is. Four years into the game, personal union over Bohemia. Probably could have done a lot sooner, honestly. And as you can see here, we also have uh, Habsburg on the throne of Hungary. This is a jigelling over here, but we have the alliance and we have the royal marriage here, right? But we do have the royal marriage here, right? Yeah, we do have the royal marriage here. All right, we're losing our alliance with Brandenburg. All right, they're mad that we didn't give them any territory. Yeah. All right, and. We're struggling to maintain the emperorship here. So I think we want to do. We just want to go ahead and break off this line here. All right. Screw these guys. We're gonna look at Saxony. Foreign alliance. Saxony and alliance and the Palatinate foreign alliance. So we have the planet working up Saxony here, so we're going to we'll marry them. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. They got the, got the offer right here. Oh well. We're going to start improving relations. Yeah, see, controlling another elector is a pretty mean. pretty mean. Alright, so we're gonna improve relations here. And we really just need Bohemia to like us enough. But the only thing we can really do is we still have our can I find an improved relations guy? Yes I can. Alright, so we're gonna bring the troop maintenance down a bit. They were taken this whole time. Oh, we got a Habsburg on the Brandenburg throne. That's pretty good. See, this is this is the power I was telling you guys about earlier with Austria. Just rule marry everyone and take over the world here. Alright, we're actually going to attempt to ally Castile here before going back to Bohemia. We're we looking at eight out of five relationship slots. Man, that's crazy. All right, Burgundy, Bohemia. All right, Brandenburg. We're gonna lose that relationship eventually. All right, Trier and Castile. We need to improve with Trier. We oh, we need more diplomats. That's what we need. So yeah, um, 
Austria is never going to really be a military powerhouse. Their main ability lies in bringing other people into the fold with those abilities, with those military abilities. All right, so if you can look at our ideas, so the traditions plus 10% morale of armies plus 30% improved relations. Uh, this morale of armies is going to taper off towards the mid game. This improved relations is going to be fantastic though. Then right here we have a uh, imperial authority growth modifier and diplomatic annexation costs. Once again, this, this is this is all HRE. We're playing the diplomatic game here. All right, Fort Maintenance, natural garrison growth is kind of useless. I mean, Fort, Fort Maintenance could save you a lot of money in the late game. Um, yearly inflation reduction, interest per annum. Interest per annum is actually pretty interesting if you can stack it. Yearly inflation reduction helps out with the gold mine a lot. All right, next we got diplomatic relations, rep reputation. All right, this is just going to make people want to accept ideas or accept proposals they wouldn't normally accept. Missionary strength plus two, that'll help out a lot with the uh, with the Protestant Reformation. All right, next we got diplomatic diplomatic relations plus one. All right, it's just more diplomatic slots. Discipline plus three. It's not even full plus five, and then reinforce speed plus thirty. We're never going to be a military powerhouse, but we do have some pretty well-rounded ideas, mostly diplomatic ideas, but some pretty well-rounded ideas to help us actually do things. Uh, we're not even going to worry about that. They're not going to do anything, actually. Brunswick. Let's see. We're going to demand this to see what happens. They are going to accept. All right. Saxony, why do you, why you don't why do you don't like me, man? So yeah, we want to take uh, some diplomatic ideas pretty early here. Yeah, why are you so mean to me? All right, power projection. We're not gonna be getting a lot of that anytime soon. All right, hold three thrones. We're working on it. We are working on it. All right, so we got a Hasbro going here. Nah, maybe one day we got a Hasbro going here. And we want to get this up to eight. We want to get that up to eight. Turn off this edict. All right, now we're making a full 3.93 ducats from that. It's gonna be, it's gonna help out our economy a lot. I'm gonna repay some loans. No, we're not. I don't have any money for that. All right, our inflation is gonna be sky high, around two-ish, maybe two plus inflation. I'm gonna reduce it. All right, next, uh, there's not much do left to do, but kind of sit here, kind of rebuild my manpower, let my strength build up. So I'm gonna bring you guys in in the next episode when something interesting actually happens.